Uh, hello viewers, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is Krukenberg uh, tumor or the stomach uh, cancer. So these are the two different names used for the same medical condition. Now, the stomach is a hollow organ that uh, liquefies the food and uh, is part of the digestive system. You know. And uh, the cancer is the growth of abnormal um, body cells. Uh, the stomach cancer cells spread by breaking away from other cancer cells and go into the bloodstream or the lymphatic uh, lymphatics uh, while others uh, penetrate into the organs near the stomach, you know. Now, the cause of the stomach cancer development is not known and the risk factors include like inflammation of the stomach, uh, helicobacter pylori infection, smoking, a poor diet, and lack of physical activity, uh, and the history of stomach cancer in the family. So these are the risk factors which has been identified, but we don't know what's the exact cause of the stomach cancer, you know. The symptoms of stomach cancer may include uh, discomfort and pain in the stomach, uh, nausea, vomiting, uh, uh, weight loss, and difficulty in swallowing. Uh, vomiting uh, of blood, you know, and uh, blood in the stool, and uh, feeling full or bloated after uh, small meal, you know. So these are the common signs and the symptoms which are associated with the stomach cancers. Now, a stomach cancer is diagnosed by physical examination. So, in fact, there's a part of a diagnostic process, like your doctor will perform the physical examination, he will ask you the questions about the medical history of this condition, you know. And uh, uh, endoscopy is another test, you know, where the camera is passed through your mouth to the esophagus and uh, to the stomach to just look closely uh, into the stomach uh, if there is any abnormal growth uh, and take the pictures from there, you know, so just for the evaluation. Uh, and uh, if uh, uh, the doctor suspects that uh, there might be the malignant cancer cell, uh, cancer cells, you know, he will take a piece of that growth to um, uh, test under the microscope if there is any abnormality or those cells are uh, uh, benign or they are malignant, you know, so they are cancerous or non cancerous, you know. So that will be done during the endoscopy, you know, uh, most of the time. Uh, now the stomach cancer is uh, staged according to where the cancer is found and how far uh, uh, it has invaded to the stomach tissues, you know, or if uh, it has spread beyond the stomach and into other organs, like uh, stages 1 to 4, 0 to 4, you know. Now the treatment of the stomach cancer depends on the size of the growth, uh, location of the tumor, and the stage of the disease, uh, and the patient's general health. So, uh, while uh, uh, thinking about the treatment options, your team of doctors will consider all these things, you know. And uh, surgery is done most of uh, the surgery is done uh, to most of the time to remove uh, the cancer tissue. Uh, in general, two procedures are common. Number one is partial gastrectomy. And the other one is total gastrectomy, you know. So these are the two common procedures which are performed to remove those growths, you know. And the, then uh, the uh, treatment options are like surgery after the surgery, there will be chemotherapy or uh, like radiotherapy and uh, uh, maybe combination of both. Uh, so chemotherapy is the use of drugs to kill the cancer cells and uh, it may be used uh, before or after the surgery. And radiation therapy is the, uh, the procedure where uh, high energy rays are used to kill the cancer cells, you know, and it is used frequently along with the chemotherapy, you know. Now, there are many uh, consultants uh, are recommended getting a second opinion before starting the treatment, you know, so you should consult uh, a few doctors before uh, finalizing the treatment, you know. Uh, now the good did uh, after the uh, because there will be many side effects of the 
uh, uh, chemotherapy and the radiotherapy, you know. And the best thing is you should join the local support group uh, where uh, you can meet the people who are going through the same medical condition. Uh, so you can uh, benefit from their experiences and uh, you can share your experience with them. So th this way you will be better able to understand uh, the outcome, the treatment options and the follow up, you know. Uh, now the, after the surgery, you know, uh, good nutrition uh, may require the supplements like vitamins and the minerals. Uh, plus, uh, you may need to change your uh, lifestyle and eating habits. You know. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And please do not forget to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day. Thank you. Goodbye.